Hey everyone, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Today's video is something I'm really excited about. I've thought about doing it for ages, but I've always been a bit like, don't want to waste my money. But in today's video, I'm going to be buying and trying the first five things that Instagram recommends to me, food edition. I'm recovering from anorexia and I kind of have a foodie recovery account where I follow a lot of foodie people and food brands. So my recommended like adverts and stuff is always, always food, pretty much. A lot of it I've looked at and I've thought, I don't think I trust that or I'd like to try that, but what if it's a scam? Or I've looked at it and it's been a small new brand that I haven't tried before and it might be a bit more expensive and I've been sort of like oh I don't really want to try that um, just in case it's not nice or just in case it's a waste of money if you've watched my other videos you might know that I had an SD card that ended up being corrupt and anything I filmed on it has now been lost and really really annoyingly the footage of the day that I filmed this was on that SD card so I've lost the footage of me ordering it but I have the screen recording of me ordering it and I'm just going to talk you through what I got what my kind of thought process was and then I will get on to trying it. My budget was £20 per thing, like I wasn't going to spend more than £20 including delivery per item and the rule was I had to order the first five things I saw. So I went onto Instagram and then the first advert I got that was food related was Califia Farms oat milk barista and Califia Farms extra extra espresso cold brew coffee with almond. But I'd seen this in Sainsbury's and I'd never tried it, but I'm obsessed with oat milk. So I was kind of excited about that. And I was kind of nervous about the extra extra espresso because I'm not a strong coffee person. But nevertheless, I went to Sainsbury's and I bought them. And after a little bit more scrolling, I got advertised Rise Porridge. Now I had never heard of this brand, but I was intrigued because I do love porridge. I always really liked like Oat So Simple and the kind of easy quick porridges when I was younger. I got quite excited thinking about this porridge. The thing that was advertised to me was three porridge pots, which was a six pack with all the different flavors in it. The pack on its own just for the six porridge pots was £8.25. And at first I was a bit dubious about the amount I was spending on it because including delivery, it came to around £12. But if you watch the video, you will see why I really do not mind spending that much on it. So I ordered that. So I scrolled a bit more and then this popped up. The most loved vegan subscription box by the vegan kind. It's a lifestyle box and unbeknownst to me, they're actually a um, really big company and have their own supermarket online and I have no idea about it. But this looked so cool. I love subscriptions and I'm not actually subscribed to any. I just never really let myself treat myself but getting stuff in the post is the best thing. So I was really excited about this. So I went onto the website and I chose the lifestyle box. It told me that it was £8 and £3.15 postage and packing. I didn't really know if that was okay or not because obviously I had no idea what I was going to get in the box but I went ahead and ordered it. It always makes me a bit nervous ordering like a mystery box because obviously I don't know if I'm gonna hate everything in it. But anyway, I ordered that. And the next thing that was advertised to me was a Gray's box. Now I was so excited about this. I've always wanted to try a Gray's box. I've always seen them, but I'm pretty sure they always cost like five pound a box. And because I've suffered with anorexia, I think a lot of me is always hesitant to spend money on food for myself. So five pound for four snacks seemed like a lot, but I've always wanted to try it because the thought of getting little snacks delivered through the letterbox, that's just so exciting. And I know Grey's is like a really well-known company, but it was in my budget and it was the thing that was advertised to me. So I went ahead and my first snack box I got for 50% um, off, I think. It was the first and fifth were 50% off. The whole box was £2.24. And then you could choose whether you were vegetarian, avoiding gluten, milk, soya, all that sort of stuff. And you could go through and like your snacks. So I did all of that. And that made me really nervous because a lot of the snacks had like things that I've feared throughout my anorexia. So there was a bit of a weird amount of like nervous excitement in that. Lastly, but kind of firstly, when I decided to do this video, I was gonna start ordering things and then and I didn't have my camera set up and I was just screen recording and I was like, wait, I can't just shove a screen recording on the screen and not introduce the video. So the last thing mentioned here is actually the first thing I ordered and that was Hit Oat Milk Chocolate. Now I had never seen oat milk chocolate before. I've actually had quite a few advertised to me now, probably because I bought them on Instagram, like knows that I now like oat milk chocolate, but I'd never heard of this brand. And the thing that really drew me in was they had salted pretzel chocolate. I love pretzels and also oat milk and also I do love chocolate. <laughs> 
So, got the letterbox tasting pack, and all in all, that came to £11.95. Shipping was £3.50, so it came to £15.45, which actually makes it the most expensive thing, which is kind of mad when it's just chocolate. But anyway, it's not just chocolate, if you watch the video. <laughs> you will see that was that i ordered the first five things i was very nervous very excited and then they all arrived and i tried them all i hope you enjoy the video this is me trying them okay good morning um it's like really early in the morning but all my parcels arrived and i can confirm that they are all legitimately here i'm gonna open them throughout the day so like this one i know obviously is porridge we're gonna do porridge for breakfast and then stuff i know we're gonna do for snacks but i'm gonna open this the vegan kind lifestyle box now so this box cost me 13 pound and 15 pence i believe it was the last thing to be delivered but it was delivered within a week of ordering it I'm quite excited about it to be honest like i was buzzing yesterday when i realized i could open these all today it's like christmas it's literally like christmas let's open it this is so exciting welcome to our april lifestyle box I just seen something that I'm so, so, so excited about. Wait, this is amazing. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the thing I'm buzzing about because we've run out of these and I absolutely love them. Biscoff creams, one of the best biscuits. Okay, what else have we got? <gasps> we've got a Nomo. I have wanted to try Nomo for so long. I'm actually loving this. Candy kittens, proper doms, garlic and red chilli. Punchy smoked paprika, they're called Nuts for, I think it's the brand. A Dr. Poor Poor hand cream. This hand cream alone is worth £7. So I'm thinking this is not bad value, really. Strawberry and banana fruit snacks. And finally, the last thing in the box, authentic urban noodle street food. That is so exciting. You know what? Uh, half of me is tempted to not cancel my subscription to that. I love that. Like, that is great. I'm well impressed. And next up, we have the porridge. Rise porridge. I literally know nothing about this brand. In total, this whole box of porridge cost me £12.95. Okay, did I open it upside down? Maybe. So I've opened it up and it looks like that. Blitzed grain porridge. We've got apple and cinnamon. We've got banana and peanut butter. And we've got dark chocolate and sea salt. And then I think we've just got, yeah, we've just got the same three again. I'm gonna make my family a cup of tea to force them to come downstairs. And we're each gonna try one of the porridges. Banana and peanut butter has oats, dates, banana, coconut, peanut, and chia seeds. Apple and cinnamon has oats, dates, coconut, apple, chia seeds, and cinnamon. Dark chocolate and sea salt has oats, dates, raisins, almonds, coconut, chia seeds, cacao, and sea salt. I was looking inside, but it has a line there that you fill it to. I'm really anxious because they've got nuts and seeds in, and yesterday was the first time I challenged nuts, and I haven't challenged seeds properly yet. So this is going to push me, which is good and exciting. So this is what they look like. Um, they all smell really lovely as well. So I'm gonna sit at the table and try them. And it's really, really, really thick, which is how I like my porridge, but I don't think it's how my parents like their porridge. But I'm just gonna try a spoonful of each of them. Okay, right, I'm doing this, yeah. So I've got the dark chocolate one. Okay. Really nice, but too thick. That's mum's one. Then I've got the peanut butter and banana one. That is so thick, look. My God, I'm actually eating nuts, this is mad. Added a bit more water because it was way too thick. That's just eyeing it up. That's nice. And mine has chia seeds in it. I guess these would be good if you were like going to work. Right, I'm gonna try mine. Yeah, mm. that's nice. Mine's really nice. Mm. Mm. I really like mine. It doesn't look a lot, but it actually, but it is a fair bit. And I think this is really nice. No, it's lovely. But they're all yeah, gluten free yeah. and they're all high in protein. But this is really good because I'm also challenging myself because I'm having seeds. <laughs> mm. If you're on the go, you want a quick breakfast that's high in protein, maybe you're vegan as well, I would recommend. They're a good range of flavours. Mm. They taste really nice. And they're done in seconds, so. It's like morning snack time and for part of snack, I'm gonna open the Grey's box. And I'm actually really quite excited about this because I've wanted to try a Grey's box for a long time, but I've also been a bit like, is it gonna be worth the money? But this cost me about, I think it was like two pounds something because my first one was half price. Oh, oh, oh. 
This is looking welcome, Roisin. They've given me cinnamon pretzel sticks with a creamy Belgian speculoos dip, which is basically Biscoff. But that was the one thing that I was like, I really hope that's in there. I've got um, smoky barbecue crunch, a cocoa cranberry protein flapjack, and honey roast crunch creations, which is corn and broad beans, lightly salted peas and corn chips. And I loved honey roast nuts, so I'm excited about those. I know Grey's isn't like a small unknown business, but I'm gonna go for these. One of the things that was advertised to me, I bought in Sainsbury's because I did not want to pay delivery and I knew it was in there. So I've got the Califia Farms Barista Oat Milk and the Califia Extra Extra Espresso Cold Brew Coffee. I'm not nervous about the oat milk because I know I really like oat milk. But I'm nervous about this because it says like it's quite strong and I'm just not really a strong coffee person. But I'm just going to try some. So it's almond milk. Mm. I'm just going to give myself that much because... In case I don't like it. Yeah. Cold brew almond vegan dairy free coffee. But anyway. It is strong coffee to me, but very nice. I have heard like some people say that barista is better than normal and I love normal oat milk. So I've got my hopes up for this. That is like so, it's like so creamy. It doesn't taste so thin as like normal oat try it. Yeah. I'm going to try the greys. I don't want to cancel that vegan subscription box. Like I was really impressed with it. So I'm oh, one, I might end up. I need to subscribe to Grey's as well. Yeah, I like that sort of thing. Mm. This has been a success so far. Okay, so the porridge seemed expensive to be paying like £1.30 for a pot of porridge, but when we thought about it, the oat so simple uh, dairy version that you get in the supermarket is £1. So you're kind of paying an extra 30p for it to be gluten free and vegan. Mm -hmm. It's heavier, it weighs more, and it has kind of more, well, more fa like fancy kind of stuff. It's got chia seeds, peanut butter, you know, stuff, nuts and stuff. And it was really nice. And I like the coffee and the oat milk is really nice. So it's actually going really well so far. Oh. I've always seen Instagram adverts and been like, oh, I don't trust that. Mm, that can't be right. I'm like halfway through my lunch, um, but like I had a piece of, basically we went out shopping. I had a piece of toast when I got in because I felt weird and I still feel weird and I'm waiting for the other piece of toast. But I don't feel right. So I'm just gonna have the crisp part now. Um, so I'm trying these garlic and red chili flavored poppadoms from the vegan kind subscription box. They look like that. I'm gonna try one. Okay, I need this. They are good, they're good. So far today, everything's been a success. I'm gonna finish these, eat the rest of my lunch and see what afternoon snack when I try something else. The last test of the day of my little Instagram experiment, I've got the first thing I ordered, which I was so excited about when I saw it. I was like, uh, yes, because I'm not vegan, but I don't drink cow's milk. Um, I drink oat milk. I genuinely prefer it. It's not an eating disorder thing. And then this was advertised to me and it's oat milk chocolate by the brand. I think they're called Hip. I'm guessing they're called Hip. It arrived really quickly. I'm not sure how much you get, I can't remember, but it was like 12 pound. <laughs> okay, this was the letterbox tasting pack. I think it's completely plastic free packaging. <gasps> oh, wow, that looks, that does look really good. We've got salty pretzel, oat milk chocolate, creamy and smooth, oat milk chocolate, cookies no cream oat milk chocolate and we've got salted caramel oat milk chocolate plant powered plastic free we use less sugar and more cocoa ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients vegan friendly ingredients and the outer cardboard is recyclable and the inner film is home compostable i really like that this is the one that i'm most excited about salted pretzel one so i'm going to do the pretzel one first oh it's very thin i'm actually really nervous my brain is just going a bit like Ah, chocolate! I've just cut it and I can smell it now and it smells really nice. And it's got like little pretzel bits in it. I just need to try it. I'm gonna do it. I really like that. Definitely like high cocoa percentage. It tastes really good quality though. It tastes really, yeah, it's really chocolatey, but it's really nice. It's got like a bit of salt, salty taste. I'd give that a solid like a seven out of 10. I like that. But that's so good that the wrapper's um, compostable. Why can't all companies do that compostable? So this is the salted caramel one. That, oh my God. 
But this would be so good. I could have some of this on like porridge or something in the morning. Mm. I feel really strong today, actually. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. I could eat the whole bar of that. I've never heard of this brand. I'm really, really impressed. They deserve more press. If they started selling that in the shops, I would buy it. Cookies, no cream. I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. And they have come a bit broken, but I mean, it was a letterbox. You can't, it was well packaged, but Boxes. yeah, because it is quite thin chocolate. But I feel like that's nice because it doesn't get too rich. Like it's rich, but it's not like sickly. It's like really it's so expensive thick. chocolate that you just have a little bit of. Okay, so this is the cookies no cream. It just smells like chocolate. It does just smell like chocolate, but it's got kind of little cookie pieces in it that you can't really see. Mm. That one's really, really nice too. Wow. That would be a really good present for her. Yeah, like anyone like vegan. Mm -hmm. Shaking because I'm nervous. Like, <laughs> I'm your big recovery sister who does these things and then oh, you, you can go. <laughs> it means that you can then go and buy this and then challenge it. No. Babes, it's oat milk chocolate, you can't have it. Definitely not. It's got a lot of cocoa milk. in it. So this is just the creamy and smooth oat milk chocolate, which I think is just plain, like, mm -hmm. it looks like that. Also, the packaging is really nice. Like, not just because it's plastic free, but because the actual design of it, I really like. Okay, I'm gonna try. Ooh. That was lovely too. I can't rave about these enough, mum. <laughs> I'm not sure which one was my favourite out of those. I think salted caramel, maybe. I'd say that was my favourite. Yeah. But I do like the ordinary ones. The ordinary ones are lovely as well. So, wow. That was all very, very successful. So I, I would say hip chocolate, solid nine out of 10. Like I would buy that in the shops. The vegan subscription box, I'm actually gonna keep doing because I was so impressed with it. Value for money, you didn't like save that much, but you did, I mean, no, to be fair, you did save a bit. a bit and it's just exciting it's just exciting to get something in the post isn't it let's um. be honest the oat milk i've actually got a cup of tea with the oat milk in it now it's so good it tastes genuinely quite similar to cow's milk but without the kind of cow -y taste like people laugh at me when i say that but i know there are people that can relate like doesn't cow's milk just taste like it's mooing when i worked in a cafe i'd smell it and be like yeah that one moves somebody will get me out there i like the coffee the graze box i'm also going to keep doing they sent me such a good range of snacks and i'm really excited to try the rest of them and i I know I will like them. The porridge, that's what we had this morning. If you were like on the go and like you were vegan or gluten free or intolerant to anything and you just wanted a quick like nourishing, filling breakfast that has kind of protein and you know, all the nutrients in it and it's so convenient and all the flavors were really nice hi me from the future just to say i've since been in contact with rice porridge because i loved it so much and they so kindly gave me a discount code so you can now get 10 percent off rice porridge with the code row 10 which is so exciting because i definitely want to buy more it was absolutely lovely so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like me to do something like this again uh let me know i was thinking i could also do it with, like on my non-foodie instagram because there i get advertised like clothes and random like skincare and tea and all that sort of stuff if you want to see that maybe give this a thumbs up it's been really really good thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed i will link all the brands in the description and i'll see you all soon